Dawn, and as the sun begins its rapid ascent over the Afar Desert, 12-year-old Nasro Hamid hurries to complete morning chores before temperatures soar above 40 degrees centigrade. Nasro brushes every last goat dropping into a pile and carries it off out of the enclosure. She then takes the milk pot from the hut to milk the goats for the family breakfast. Nasro and her younger sister then make their way to fetch water at the nearby pond, which was recently replenished when it rained for one full day, a rare occurrence in these parts. Morning chores over, Nestro grabs her books and heads for the Alola Alternative Basic Education Center, where she joins the second level students for their morning Afar language class. Summer has arrived in one of the most forbidding environments on the planet, and the academic year is about to end. If Nestro passes her exams, she'll be entering the third and final year at Alola. <laughs> At the Alola Alternative Basic Education Center, Nestro has embarked on the journey that could lead to achieving her ambition. Not an easy feat for a pastoralist girl in Afar region, where until recently the only children receiving an education were those living in urban centers. Most Afar tribesmen are pastoralists, their lives bound to the fate of their herds of cattle, sheep, goats and camels that they raise in the arid environment. Children play a critical role in the nomadic lifestyle. Boys and girls as young as eight herd their families sheep and goats, while girls also help with household chores. According to the Afar Bureau of Education, Primary school enrollment in 2006 in the region was only 13%. A combination of factors, including the primarily pastoral nomadic lifestyle of the Afar people, limited infrastructure development and investment in education, lack of trained manpower, and the absence of a curriculum in the Afar language resulted in one of the lowest primary school enrollment rates in Ethiopia. Things are, however, changing. In 2006, the Afar Regional Education Bureau, supported by UNICEF and the ING Group, launched the Alternative Basic Education Program, designed to accelerate primary school enrollment by making it more accessible and conducive to the Afar pastoralist lifestyle. Since then, primary school enrollment rates have risen 7 percentage points each year, and if present trends continue, Afar region should achieve universal primary education within a decade. The Alternative Basic Education program responds to the need for an education that suits the challenges and constraints of a nomadic life. It provides flexible school hours, allowing pastoral children to fulfill their household responsibilities while still finding time for school. The teachers are familiar with the community and understand the pastoral lifestyle. While the progress achieved in Afar region is encouraging, numerous challenges remain, including the impact of the harsh environment and recurring drought. Fatuma Muhammad is an alternative basic education facilitator assigned to Alola Alternative Basic Education Center and one of Nasro's instructors. 
Fatuma has been teaching at Alola for three years now and knows the challenges all too well. Consecutive years of below average rainfall in the already parched environment has taken its toll on the community. Lack of rain and the depletion of pasture means that families have to go farther afield to feed their animals. Numerous families in Alola have completely packed up and left, while those that remain face greater stress and hardships. As a result, attendance at the Alola Alternative Basic Education Center has been erratic this year. <laughs> Nesro is back in school now in time to finish the school year. If she does well and passes her exams, she will graduate to the third and final level of the Alternative Basic Education program. In 2008, 13 year old Muhammad Ali Muhammad made history when he became one of the first batch of graduates to complete the three year alternative basic education program in Afar region. Getting there, however, was no easy feat. Muhammad learns about the African slave trade, the fight against colonialism, and how the African Union was established in his fifth grade social sciences class, taught by Gazaheng Ishatu. Muhammad Ali, Turu Yetumurtha Kavavan Nello. Mukhna Tum Tumurthi Tust Kamaraj Tumurthi Thi Mat Tumaruchin Yetale Yegazai Tarakla Chhod. Labichati Turi Satta Chhod Krami Nauri Tarralu Yekabra Chhom Tumurth Yethaiye Ba Yegzio Thakatai Tumurth Thechamari Sela Mi Satta Chhom Ba Vidka Na Bara Chhom Wainum Ba Vidka Karlu Tuli Joj Yetshala Gazai Tarakla Chhom Tumurthi Tust Mi Kairam Sela Zhi Kazi Thana Sa Ahun Sunana Tataro, Kalut Kabuf Tamaruch, Kamadabanya Kamatu Tamaruzgara, Buzum Bijunatilacho. 
ትልቁ ነገር ውስጣቸው ምን አለ የትምርት ፍላጎት አለ ለምን እዛ ገጠር ውስጥ በአማራጭ ትምርት ቤት ሲማሩ የነበራቸው ያው ማህበራዊ ተጽኖ አለ የባህልም ተጽኖ አለ ያንን አልፎ ሰብረው ስለሚመጡ በቁጭት ነው የሚማሩት መንግስት ትምርት ቤት ሲገቡ መደበኛ ትምርት ቤት ሲገቡ ዋና አላማችን ለመደበኛ ትምህርት ቤት ተማሪዎችን ማዘጋጀት ሲሆን አሁን ደግሞ ከባለፈው በጣም ለውጣለ ተማሪዎች እነሱን በማይት እዛ መደበኛ ምናም ለመማር ይፈልጋሉ ያም ጉጉት ስለላለ ጥሩ እየተቀበሉ ነው እኛም ጥሩ ያዘጋጃናቸው ነው እየደምታሉ ተማሪ ደግሞ ለቀጣዩን ከመደ ከአማራይ ትምርት ቤት ወደ መደበኛ ለሚመጡ ተማሪዎች ምሳሌ ሆኖ በአሁን ሰዓት ሁሉ ማማራጭ ላይ ያሉ ተማሪዎች እንደ መሐመድ መሆን አለብን የሚለውን ስም የታደሩባቸው የማር ማስተማሩን ስራ በጥሩ ሁኔታ እየተከታተሉ ነው ያለው እና እሱም ደግሞ በዛ ቀደም ሲል ወደ መጣበት ትምርት ቤት በመሄድ በረፍት ጊዜው ስለ ተማሪዎቹ እዚህ ስላለው የተማሪ ማህበረሰብና የተማሪው ተብብር ምን እንደሚመስል ገለጻ ያደረገላቸው ይገኛል አጎቴ ጋ ዘሃ ሂሴን ሃይደር የትምርት ቢሮ አላፊ ጋ ነኝ እሱ ደሞ ዘመዴ ነው እሱ ያስተምረኛል አሁን እዛ ድሮ ማለት ነው እዚህ ጋ ጥናት አረጋለሁ ስለ ምንድነው መስራው ፍየል እና እና ተስገበም እንደ ጨጋዎች እና እና ተስገበም ያሉ ያባረኛል ነበር አሁን ግን እኔ ዝምብ የሰህር አንተ ልጅ አስተጣጠናም ብሎ ይመተኛ ለጎት ልጅ ያስጠነኛ ደሞ ትምርት ያሉት ልጆች ጋር ይልክኛል እሱ ደሞ ጥናት አርግ ብሎ ያስጠነኛል ተባን ተባን ከቲ ተባን ከነማ ያት School has transformed Muhammad's perception of the world and the possibilities that await him if he's able to complete his education ስፈር መሆን ፈልጋለሁ ብሎ ነበር ቢየ ነበርኩኝ አሁን ደሞ ስለ ተማርኩኝ ትምርት ቢያርግበኝ ቦታ መስራት ፈልጋ ለወደፊት ትምርት ቀርሺ ስራ ማገኛት ወይንም ኮምፒውተር ወይንም መንግስት ሰራተኛ መሆን ፈልጋለሁ The alternative basic education program has worked well for Muhammad. His first year out of alternative basic education has been a success and he has become a role model for students back at the Alola Center. Not all the students who graduated with him from Alola, however, have been as successful. Senior-old Kadiga Muhammad Hassan was among the first batch of alternative basic education graduates in Afar alongside Muhammad. Unlike Muhammad, however, Kadiga has not been able to continue her education in the formal system. Timurti barta awa barta siyo dara, dara kibya, dara yilo hib. Taat kara atamar nidi tamal ibya yilo hib. ከዲጋ ደረጃ 3 እና አጠናቃ በ2000 ዓመተ ምህረት አጠናቃ እዚህ በ2001 እዚህ አካባቢ መጣ ነበር ወደ አዋሽ መለስተኛ ላይ ያን ግን የህብረተሰቡ የኑር ሁኔታ ወይም ደግሞ በወቅቱ ድርቅ በመከሰቱ ድዱ ውሃ ወደ አለበት አካባቢ ወደዛ ሄዱ ሷም ያንና ቋርጣ እዚህ መማር ስለልትቻለች እዛው አውራ ከቤተሰቦቿ ጋር ሄዳለች ለሱ ወ አሎላል ሱንሳኩ ሌን ስኩቴ ወ አኮረት ሌን ስኩቴ ግዲ በርታ ሱኔ ሌዋይት ነ ቴሲሪ አይሱ ወይ ነ ቴሲሪ ውዲ አከከ ወከ ግን ሜቲ ፈና አከከ ወከ ግን ሜቲ ፈን ሲዲ ሐልሳኒ ወደርሂን ከላ ወደራ ሰዓ ከላ ደረር ግሊ ግን ፈሳ ለዑና ቆደረት ግራ አቴ ሐርት ማ ባር ሂማ ሌ ግራ ቲመርት ግ ኢብሂም ኢብሂም ኢና ማይ ቲመርት ግ ሐም ፈራክስ የማይ ለም ተና ካዱ ወክ ተማሪ ግራዋ በካርስ ነው ደሰጣ ረባና ተውዓሊ ማዑብ ሰፈና ለም ማያ አጋድ ፈና 
ወይ ነብ ሰተኒ ኒ ተማሪ በርተኒ መታካ ቢ ሰተኒ ኒ ተማሪ ኒ መታካ ሰተኒ አዋ ዲጊ መፈራ በርተተ ኒ በርተ ፈራ ወከና ዲጊ ባካል ፈራ ትምርት ባርተ ዲጊ ባ አፈርካ ታፍተና ታባ የ ተማሪ በርታ ሰው የግዲ ባንዲያ Khadija story was documented by a Swiss journalist who produced a television story about her life in Alola and her dream of one day becoming a doctor. The media attention brought Khadija and her dream to the attention of the Afar Education Bureau. As Zodi explains, it may still be possible for Khadija to go to school despite the ongoing drought. ያሰቡን እንድነው በዱዱ ትምርት ቤት የምገባ ፕሮግራም ስላለህ የምገባ ፕሮግራም ደግሞ በአለም ምግብ ፕሮግራም ወይም WFB ምንለው ፕሮግራም ነው እና መንግስት ያልሆነ ረጂ ድርጅት ነው ይሄ ደግሞ ለኛ ለትምርት ሽፋኑም ሆነ ወደ ትምርት ቤት ሊመጡ ያልቻሉ ህፃናትን በዚህ ፕሮግራም በማቀፍ ህፃናት በብዛት እንዲገኙና የትምርቱም ሽፋን እንዲያድግ ያደረገው አንዱ ሂደት ነውና እቺ ተማሪ ደሞ በዛ አካባቢ ቤተሰዋን ጋር በመመካከር ቤተሰዋ የህፃናውን ጉልበት የሚፈልጉበትን ሂደት በመጠኑ በግማሽ ቀንም ይሁን በመቀነስ በዚህ ትምርት ቤት እንድትማር አድርገን ለአንድ ለሴት ተማሪዎች ማበረታቻ የሚሆነውን 2 ሊትር እና ከዛም በየቀኑ ለተማሪዎች ምገባ የሚካሄደው ነው የተመገበች እዛ የግማሽ ቀን ትምርት በዛ እንድታገኝ ለማበረታታ ጽፈት ቤታችን አቅዷል እና ይሄ ደግሞ ጭራሽ ተማሪዋን አቁማ ትምርቷን አቁማ ወደ ሌላ ህይወት እንዳትገባና ለኛ ከተማርኩ ዶክተር ሆናል ይሄ አለችውን አላማና ግዋን እንድታሳካ መፍቴ ሆናል ለነው እናሳ Fofley Alternative Basic Education Center is located 7 kilometers outside of Elidar, a ramshackle truck stop along what used to be the main road connecting the Ethiopian interior to the port of Asab in Eritrea. War and severing of ties between the neighboring states has diminished what used to be a bustling desert outpost. Despite the hardships, the classrooms at the Fofli Alternative Basic Education Center are full. ተማሪው የማማስሩ ፍላጎት ባይደኛሉ። ይማራሉ ትምርት ይፈልጋሉ ምን ከቤት ሰባ እንዳለ ችግራለ። እንዴት ነው ያ ችግር ደግሞ ፍየል ላይ ችግር አለባችሁ ያው ልጆቹ እስከሚጠብቁ ድረስ አሁንኛ አራት 